making the announcement right now outside of the Towson Courthouse, and that's where we find lead political reporter Kate Amara. Kate? Lisa, Kevin Kamenetz just finished speaking probably about two minutes ago. He was introduced by several people today who spoke to his character and to his commitment to education, which is obviously going to be a big talking point for him during this campaign for governor. He announced his official entrance into this very crowded field at 614 this morning with a tweet and then five hours later followed it up with his first official campaign event here at the old courthouse in Towson. He is 59 years old. He walked out to the podium alongside his wife, Jill, and his two sons. He said, I am going to be Maryland's education governor. And then, as we have seen him done over his time here as county executive, he ripped into our Republican governor, Larry Hogan, lumped Hogan and President Donald Trump together talked about why what they are doing is bringing our state and our country in the wrong direction and talked about what he, Kevin Kamenetz, will do to set things right. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. I want to be your next governor because Donald Trump and Larry Hogan, they're taking our country and our state in the wrong direction. Amen. Donald Trump's harmful policies and shameful rhetoric are actually damaging our country. And Larry Hogan, he's letting Trump get away with it by remaining silent. Exactly. Exactly. We can't afford to have a governor who refuses to stand up to Donald Trump, to protect our values, our communities, and our state. We can't afford to have a governor who needs to take a poll before taking a stand. A governor, a governor who hedges his bets, a governor who plays both sides of the fence, a governor who can't articulate a long-term vision for this state. You see, results actually matter. A do-nothing approach, no matter how dressed up with clever slogans but empty policies, won't solve our challenges. Maryland needs a new governor, a governor who's not afraid to tell it like it is and always fights for what's right. <clears throat> a governor who sweats the details and does the hard work to actually get things done. A governor with the right experience and a track record of results that no one can match. All right, you can expect the themes you just heard in that clip to be recurring themes throughout this Democratic primary race. The primary for governor for the Democrats and Republicans is set for June 26. And then, of course, whoever wins that is hoping to unseat Republican Governor Larry Hogan in the general election set for November 6 of 2018. Reporting live from Towson this afternoon, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.